Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about something you really requested over the last couple weeks and that is lame ducks. A lot of you struggle with this so I hope I can help you kind of control them and make them cleaner. Um, and a lame duck of course is a step step up turn on the oar. So it's like an on the oar pirouette except you're stepping down and up if you don't know what a lame duck is. Why it's called a lame duck and not some beautiful French name like the rest of the ballet steps I couldn't tell you. The number one thing I see with lame ducks is that people step way too far out. Yeah, especially if you're trying to do a double. If you do down, look, not cute, right? You have to think right up underneath yourself. This is the foot you can step out on. The second leg, step right up underneath, okay? Watch the difference. Here's the wrong way, stepping too far out, not attractive. Here's the correct way, stepping out with this leg and then right up underneath. Yeah, it's like it replaces, down, replace, down, replace. Don't do down over here because what that's going to do actually is throw your balance way off. You're not going to be in a straight line and you're going to end up falling over in your turn. So use this leg to travel and then this leg literally replaces. You can even do it in place from fourth right up underneath yourself. I do give that step all the time in adagios. So watch one more time. From here, travel, don't travel. Travel, don't travel. Otherwise, you're going to get a really bad line. This is especially true, like I said, if you're trying to do a double. Watch the difference. Bad lame duck. See, I can't, I can't quite get up, but if I do it right up underneath myself, far better success rate. Unlike a PK turn, yeah, where you're just traveling on this leg and this is your travel leg and it's helpful to step out right up underneath yourself. Watch also your upper body. I see a lot of people do fine. PK turn, PK turn, suchinu, lame duck. It's just by the way the turn is happening. Don't lose your upper body. This line is not going to help you turn. Yeah, it's like, it's like any pirouette. You want to be completely straight up and down. This stays open. So don't do lame duck. Think of leading with your chest. Lame duck. Watch how the foot comes off the floor. From here, like I said, tight. It's almost like a soutenu. From here, little soutenu. Watch how it comes up. Yeah, don't let it come up like this or back. And the other thing that will help you is thinking of having a really flat hip. Even if you're stepping up underneath yourself, this tends to happen. You get really back on your supporting hip. So think really, really, really flat. Yeah? Flat. Flat hip. Final tip for lame ducks, particularly, again, if you're trying to do a double opposite side around. Just by the way the turn is going, sometimes our upper body doesn't follow. I see a lot of people lame duck like this and it's like their upper body hasn't quite caught up yet. So if anything, lame duck starts in the shoulders. Think of using the shoulder first. Shoulder, watch the difference. Here's bad if my upper body's delayed. Yeah, and I'm like stuck over here. Instead, use your opposite shoulder, step right up underneath yourself. Opposite shoulder, up and up. It's almost like the upper body has to turn more. Because here, you're essentially already turning your hips. Unlike a PK turn, where you go straight up and turn, the step automatically turns your hips. So your upper body has to follow. That's where people get caught up, is that this happens. So if anything, think of the turn starting with your upper body. Pull right up underneath yourself. Here's your travel leg. There's, you, there's where you don't travel, especially on a double, and keep your chest open. One final bonus tip, if it's slow, use your plie. You know what I mean? Down and up, and down and up. If it's a little bit faster, the plie doesn't have to be as deep. It, it, you don't have time. Down, up, down, up. Look, see? I'm practically straight-legging it. So if it's slow, take the time. Make sure you have a good plie. A little bit faster, you don't have to get as deep of a plie because sometimes it will look like this otherwise. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look good. So keep the upper body lifted, travel on the first step, flat, flat hip, don't go up like this, and use the shoulder 
first. Make sure the upper body is getting all the way around with you and you guys will really improve your lame ducks. So that's it, you guys. If there are any other steps you need to work on, please let me know in the comments. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other videos. If you missed my video on improving your brise, it's right there, you can click it to watch. Love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time.